Percy the Small Engine. Percy loved playing tricks on the other engines, but these tricks sometimes got him into trouble. One morning, he was being very cheeky indeed. Peep, peep, hurry up, he whistled to Gordon. Your express train's ready. Gordon thought he was late and came puffing out. But when he looked around, there was only a train of dirty coal trucks. Ha ha, laughed Percy. But Gordon didn't think it was funny at all. Next, it was James's turn. Percy told James to stay in the shed because Sir Topham Hatt was coming to see him. James was a very proud engine and thought that Sir Topham Hatt must want him to pull a special. He stayed in the shed all day, and nothing his driver could do would make him move. The other engines were very annoyed. They had to do James's work as well as their own. At last, Sir Topham Hatt arrived. He was very angry with James, but he was even more angry with Percy when James explained what had happened. When Percy arrived back at the yard, Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for him. You shouldn't waste time playing silly tricks, Percy, shouted Sir Topham Hatt. You should be a really useful engine. Later that week, Thomas brought the Sunday school children to the beach. He asked Percy if he could take them home for him. Percy thought it sounded like very hard work, but he promised Thomas he would help. The children had a lovely day, but by the afternoon, there were dark clouds overhead. Suddenly, there was thunder and lightning, and the rain came lashing down. The children hurried to the station. Annie and Clara were waiting for them at the platform. The children scrambled into the warm carriages. Percy, take the children home quickly, please, ordered the station master. The rain poured down on Percy's boiler. Ugh, he shivered. He thought about pretending that he had broken down, so another engine would have to go instead of him. But then he remembered his promise. He must make sure the children got home safely. Percy set off bravely, but his driver was worried. The rain was very heavy now, and the river was rising fast. The rain was getting in Percy's eyes, and he couldn't see where he was going. Suddenly, he found himself in deep water. Oh, my wheels, gibbered Percy, but he struggled on. Oosh, he hissed. The rain was beginning to put his fire out. Percy's driver decided to stop the train in a cutting. The guard went to find a telephone, and he returned looking very worried. We couldn't go back if we wanted to, he said. The bridge near the junction is down. They would have to carry on to the next station. But Percy's fire had nearly gone out, and they needed more wood to keep it going. We'll have to pull up the floorboards and burn them, said the fireman. Soon they had plenty of wood. Percy's fire burned well, and he felt warm and comfortable again. Suddenly, there came a bzz, bzz, bzz. Harold was flying overhead. Oh, dear, thought Percy sadly. Harold's come to laugh at me. Bump! Something thudded on Percy's boiler. A parachute had landed on top of him. Harold hadn't come to laugh. He was dropping hot drinks for everyone. Everyone had hot cocoa and felt much better. Percy had got some steam up now. Peep, peep! Thank you, Harold, he whistled. Come on, let's go! As Percy started to move, the water began to creep up, and up, and up. It began to put his fire out again. Ooh, shivered Percy. Percy was losing steam, but he bravely carried on. I promise, Thomas, he panted. I must keep my promise. The fireman piled his fire high with wood. I must do it, Percy peeped. I must, I must, I must. Percy made a last great effort, 
and cleared the flood. Three cheers for Percy, called the teacher, and the children cheered as loudly as they could. Harold arrived with Sir Topham Hatt. Harold told me you were splendid, Percy, said Sir Topham Hatt. He says he can beat you at some things, but not at being a submarine. I don't know what you've both been doing, but I do know that you're a really useful engine. Oh, thank you, sir, peeped Percy happily. The news of Percy's adventure soon got back to the station. Gordon and James heard all about how Percy had kept his promise and traveled through the storm to bring the children home. They both thought he was very brave and forgave him for all his tricks. Percy realized that although playing tricks could be fun, it was much more important to be a really useful engine.